India's defense giants are coming together to power the country's ambitious AMCA project, Larsen and Tubro. Hindustan Aeronautics Limited and Bharat Earth Movers Limited have all submitted bins officially to build India's very own stealth fighter jet as the deadline ended on the 30th of September. Not just that, the list also includes manufacturing titans including Adani Defence, Tata Advanced Systems as well as Kalyani Strategic Systems, making it one of the most sought after defence projects in Indian aerospace history. With so many players in the race now, the government could well opt for two separate production lines for the AMCA if it chooses to. Though nothing is fun and yet, a public and another private production line could go a long way in ensuring speedy induction of the stealth fighter in the Indian Air Force. The AMCA project is India's largest ever military aviation R&D initiative with a whopping budget of 15,000 crore rupees for just the design and prototype phase. Under the leadership of Prime Minister Modi, the project was officially launched in May 2025 when the prototype development phase kicked off after the approval of the Indian Defence Ministry. A statement by the Defence Ministry stated, In a significant push towards enhancing India's indigenous defence capabilities and fostering a robust domestic aerospace industrial ecosystem, Raksha Mantri Sri Rajnath Singh has approved Advanced Medium Combat Aircraft Programme execution model. The Aeronautical Development Agency is set to execute the program through industry partnership." Unquote. The MOD in its statement also mentioned that private and public sectors would bid and compete for this project. It stated, both private and public sector entities would do bidding for the project either independently or as a joint venture or consortia. The entity biller should be an Indian company compliant with the laws and regulations of the country. Unquote. Rajnath Singh called inviting private and public sectors into the project as a very bold and decisive decision, emphasizing how it will help Indian aerospace capabilities to be more efficient. A special committee is handling this project led by former Brahmos Aerospace Chief Dr. A. Sivanthanu Pillai, whose team will analyze all the possibilities and project is surrounded with and the evaluation of technical and commercial proposals before presenting their recommendations to the Defence Ministry. Out of the seven companies in the mix, two will be shortlisted to share the prototype development contract and the funding of 15,000 crore rupees for constructing five AMCA prototypes. Once the committee will submit its report, the decision will be in the hands of the Ministry before any final deal. The deadline of the AMCA induction is set for 2034-35, so it's literally a race against time. AMCA is India's most ambitious defence manufacturing project, even though today India can build its own nuclear submarines aircraft carriers and land satellites on the moon. The importance of AMCA for national defence and strategy cannot be overstated given the constant threat of another India-Pakistan war and China's rapid advancements in aerospace technology, not just with its J-20s but also its sixth-generation prototypes taking flight. Due to the close supervision by the Defence Ministry, the AMCA selection process is expected to move on quicker than normally. The organization responsible for designing the AMCA is the Aeronautical Development Agency or the ADA. It is an autonomous body under the Indian Ministry of Defence who are experts in aircraft design and development. So ADA is looking after conceptualization, designing and technical direction for the AMCA fighter jet. The DRDO is providing stealth, sensors and other required advanced technologies in form of R&D support. HAL is expected to play a vital role in assembling the prototype that will be finalized by the committee. It is expected to be a manufacturing partner with a private player that will contribute in future serial production of India's stealth fighter jet. The Indian Air Force is the end user acting as technical collaborator in the project throughout the requirements, specifications and flight testing process. Other key contributors in the ANCA project are organizations such as Gas Turbine Research Establishment for developing engines in collaboration with Francis Safran. A few private industry partners are also included for subsystems like radar, avionics and electronics. The aim is to build a complete stealth fighter manufacturing ecosystem indigenously in India with minimal dependence on any imports to enable true strategic autonomy. Rajnath Singh added, Today the defence sector is not only the foundation of national security but has become a pillar in strengthening our economy and securing its future. 
In the defense sector, self-reliance is not an issue of protectionism at all. Rather, it's an issue of sovereignty. It's an issue of national autonomy. It's an issue of self-confidence. India's defense production has soared 18% over the previous financial year's output of 1.2 lakh crore rupees. It's a huge increase of 90% since just 2019-2020. And after India shot down six Pakistani jets and smashed 11 Pakistani air bases in the recent war, the demand for Indian weapon systems is soaring in the international market. But what do you believe? Will the Indian Air Force be able to induct the AMCA on time? Or should India also buy foreign stealth fighter jets like the Sukhoi 57 and even the F-35? Leave a comment with your opinion, hit the like button and subscribe to Inconnect News.